Hello, good morning, and uh, today I'd like to show you how to install winter ground textures into X-Plane 10. Uh, this is a package on uh, xplane.org. It's called Seasonal Winter Ground Textures. It, uh, it's put out by Mad Max Land, and uh, I'm going to throw it in, and uh, I'm going to show you how to install this. It's a little different than just, you know, dragging and dropping completely, but that's all it really is. So anyway, you're going to go to the xplane.org website, and you're going to download this Seasonal Winter Ground Textures by Mad Max Land. And once you get that done, you end up with these four, five, excuse me, five zip files. And you want to extract those zip files to your desktop, so you end up with three extracted files of the same name. Okay. So once you have downloaded these five zip files, and extracted them, unzipped them, then you can proceed to put it into your custom scenery folder. Uh, so we'll open package number one, part number one, and we see that we have a seasonal snow end and the installation instructions. Installation instructions are, are pretty decent, pretty easy to read, but I think people need a video uh, for the less experienced people. So this is how it's going to be put into my custom scenery folder. First, I'm going to uh, take Seasonal Snow N. I'm going to drag that whole envelope, that whole file, and just drop it into my custom scenery. And now we will let that place itself in there. And while I'm waiting for that to be transferred into my custom scenery, I'll take a short break and uh, be right back. Okay, so now I've, I've just finished up dragging and dropping the Seasonal Snow End folder into my Custom Scenery folder in X-Plane. I'll move on to package number two, uh, part two, open that. And in part two, we come up with a folder that says Soil. Well, the folder Soil has to go into the Textures 10 folder of the Seasonal Snow N package. So I'm going to my custom scenery, and I'm going to open the Seasonal Snow N folder, and I'm going to open the Textures 10 folder. Okay, now it tells me to drag and drop the Soil folder into Textures 10. And this is what we're doing. Okay, I'm back, and we're just, uh, just getting to the end of Part 2 being transferred into my custom scenery. And there it is. All right, so now that I have soil transferred into my Textures 10 folder in my Seasonal Snow End folder of my custom scenery, I'm going to open Part 3. Now, Part 3 gives me a folder called Human, and according to the instructions, this has to be dragged and dropped again into my Textures 10 folder. So I will do that. And there it goes. This is a large package, and it takes a few minutes to put it in, but the results will amaze you. Yeah, it's a really nice package. Um, I see on his uh, X-Plane 10, let me bring that up again, on his X-Plane 10, uh, upload, he's uh, pointed out that the uh, Seasons Data Ref was, was uh, something that Einstein put out and he gave permission to use. And also the winter textures are by a, uh, a member called XFlyer. And these winter textures, they're amazing to begin with. I was using these winter textures before. It's a winter package, a winter mod where when I wanted to fly in winter, I would load the mod and then load X-Plane, and the winter textures would be there. But this right here means no matter what time of season you're flying, you don't have to worry about changing a mod, and you don't have to uh, go back and forth. This should be automatic all by itself, depending on the date that's in your X-Plane. Now, whether you fly like I do, I just fly on a daily basis. I let the calendar go by, and I fly in the seasons that I'm in. Or unless you decide, hey, I want to fly in winter. Go ahead and change your date, bang, you're flying in winter. Superb 
wonderful thought. Really nice. Okay, so now we're getting towards the end of part number three. We'll let that finish up. And part number three is done. Now, we will move to part number four. Now, you'll notice part number four has a love G file. And let me just jump ahead a little bit. Part number five also has a love G file. Well, these two love G files have to be moved to textures 10 and merged. Very simple process. Okay, so we will take the part 4 file that we are on. We will take love G, or low veg, whatever you want to call it, and we will drag that, excuse me, drop that into the texture send folder, and we will let that copy in. And then I will show you the easiest way to merge part 5 into part 4. And part four is done. Again, we'll go to part five, and you'll see part five has another low veg or love G, whichever way you want to read it, file. Now the instructions say to merge that or drag and drop it to your custom scenery. Well, this low veg here has to be merged with this low veg here. So the easiest way to do that is just to grab it from the part five file and drag it and drop it into textures 10. You don't want to drop it into low veg, you want to drop it somewhere out like you did the rest of them. So when we do that, it's now going to copy the contents of this low veg file and put it into this low veg file, therefore combining the files and completing the package. And there it is. That's how you install the uh, seasonal winter ground textures off xplane.org by Mad Maxland. You close all these, and your Textures 10 is all set. So now you end up with your custom scenery folder with your file that says Seasonal Snow N. And in that file, you have your Terrain 10, your Textures 10, your uh, Data Ref file, and your library. And once completing this, it's ready to go. I hope this helps. I hope uh, it makes it easier for everybody. Uh, this is the Moth Gawker, and I'm glad I could share this with you. And like I said, I, I believe I'm going to do a video for installing Seasons Libraries by Einstein, and I will do a, also. I will also do a quick video on how to uh, how to install this uh, Snow ND, which adds the seasonal snow into December if you prefer it that way. So until the next video, this is The Moth Cocker, and uh, I appreciate you watching. Have a good day.